Hi everybody, this is Lara at Pure Elliott Wave. I'm going to update XRP, it's next on my list and uh, I know a few of you have been waiting a while for it so let's have a go at that. First of all I'm going to import my data, um, file, chart, import data. I'm using Motive Wave, that's what I use for all of my Elliott Wave analysis. You'll have to excuse the noise, I'm in an airport lounge but I've got a lot of time so I really just want to get some work done. And check these, import, what's it done? It went a little bit lower. So here's the last low. Looks like it's forming a curved bottom. Ooh. Oh, this could be a triangle. How big was the second wave? Let's squish this up. Okay, let's expand that out and see if this could have been a fourth wave triangle. I think that's going to meet all of the wave rules. How do the trend lines look? Oh, pretty good. Okay, I'm going to leave that like that. And let's put some labels on the fifth wave. No, I want to put that there. That's better. That looks pretty good. Not sure how this Minuet 5 would have subdivided at lower time frames, but I can't look at lower time frames when I've used Yahoo Finance data for this. So let's have a look at the bigger picture for XRP. View this on a semi-log scale because that's how you have to view these highly volatile markets, otherwise your data will not make sense. I have my wave count for XRP begins in December 2015 and I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, cycle one up, cycle two down, and cycle two over here at 0.11509 and then primary two could be over here. How am I labeling that? I'm labeling it as a double zigzag. Probably like this. Let's just get some labels in here. Yep. I need to recalculate this target for the third wave of the third wave. Let's just get a calculator and I'll do that now. 16.35 is a Fibonacci ratio, but it's a rather extreme Fibonacci ratio. So I calculate a new target at 30.54. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, my previous target, I had my decimal place wrong. Okay, so if primary three reaches 16.35, the length of primary one, the target would be 30.54. I think this target for cycle three will probably be too low and when three and four are complete, I can add to the target at primary degree and then it'll probably change, but I'll leave it there for now. That's gonna be my super quick update of XRP for you. Let's check the invalidation point, point 0.11509. And let's look at some technicals. I wanna see is there strength off lows. So I've already got my support and resistance here. This, here's the low here, 18th of June, 0.29058. And there's a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern right after that, but it doesn't have support from volume. But by this upward session, we do start to see support from volume. If you look back at prior lows for these markets, they don't always show immediate increases in volume right off the low. Sometimes it takes a few days or even weeks before you start to see that. So I'm not going to discard a bullish wave count just on the lack of volume on this session. We're seeing increase in volume again here on this session and a bullish long lower work for the 14th of July. There's resistance here about just under 40 cents, about 38 cents. And on this session, the close didn't manage to break above resistance. We've seen a breach above resistance for Bitcoin and Ethereum. They're moving up really strongly, but XRP hasn't managed to break above resistance yet. That's okay. Uh, it may still do so. Uh, at this low here, uh, let's just check the closing prices. The close, 0 0.30809. And here, the close, 0.30385. So the close here is higher for both RSI and price. So there's no bullish divergence. It looks like it is, but we need to look at closing prices. 
so there's no bullish divergence, but RSI did reach oversold. There is bullish divergence here though. This close here, 0.38521, and this close here, 0.30385. Let's squish up price so we, oh no, not like, like that, yeah. I just want to expand RSI out so we can see that more carefully. There is definitely bullish divergence. I think I'll just pop a little trend line on there to make that a little bit more obvious. So not right at the low, but just for the low. RSI reaches oversold, there's bullish divergence. ADX indicates the downward trend reached extreme, but not very extreme. It didn't reach above 45, but it was above both DX lines. So in the context of an extreme downward trend, bullish divergence and a bullish candlestick pattern, it does look reasonably likely that XRP has found a low. That's the daily chart. What about the weekly chart? No bullish divergence at the weekly chart level, that's okay. ADX didn't reach extreme at this time frame. There's a bullish candlestick pattern off the low, but again it doesn't have support from volume. Okay, well I think it's reasonably likely that this is correct, and this is the risk. 0.11509 is the risk to that wave count. I'm going to leave that there for a quick update for XRP, and apologies for the background noise, but I just wanted to use this time as best I could and get something extra out for you. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for your support.